is driving me crazy. This story is crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is too crazy. I'm, I'm back again with an update of y'all favorite story. Oh, my God. The Ukrainian dwarf abandoned by her adoptive parents are and accused of being an adult sociopath masquerading as a child denies their claims in her first TV interview and says that she was a child when they left the country without her. Um, in fact, she's going to come on Dr. Phil on Thursday in her first TV interview. She maintains that she is not a child. What? As her first set of adoptive parents claim that she's not a child. Women. Natalia Grace Barnett spoke with Dr. Phil for her first TV interview. She maintains she is not a child as her first set of adoptive claims. Barnett said it was a lie that she is a sociopath masquerading as a 16-year-old. She was adopted by Christine and Michael Barnett in 2010 in Florida. Natalia had already been brought to the country by another family. When the Barnett's thought she was six, they took her in their home with them. But she quickly showed signs that she was older than she was. They claim they also alleged that she tried to kill them and their other sons. The couple have been charged with child abuse for leaving her in an apartment in 2013 to fend for herself. They insist that she was a 22-year-old adult, but she says she was only nine. Oh, wow, this is a good picture of her as well. Y'all need to check out this story uh, in the daily, from the Daily Mail. It says the Ukrainian dwarf orphan who was abandoned by her American adoptive parents who accused her of being an adult masquerading as a child, has broken her silence in her first televised interview. Daily Mail TV first broke the extraordinary story of Natalia Grace Barnett after her adoptive parents, Christine and Michael Barnett, were arrested for child abuse in September. Six years ago, in 2013, they left Indiana for Canada with their other children, getting the hell away from her as far as they could, but they left her behind. And they said at the time that she was nine. Oh, my God. She said at that time she was nine. Not they said. I'm sorry. She said. However, they had uh, become convinced that she was actually 22. Damn nine. And was a sociopathic adult who had masqueraded as a child for years and tried to kill members of their family. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. She's actually weeping. Um, I can't play this because I will get a strike. Um, so I'm not going to be able to play the thing. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Michael and Christy Barnett, though, was released in September. Let me just give you, and this will kind of help you out. I'm just going to give you, if I can, if I if it's possible, um, I'm going to try to give y'all just the timeline of the madness. Because I believe these that couple turned their self in, but they, they had since been divorced. Um, and he has remarried um, the Barnett, Michael Barnett, uh, if I can remember correctly. Uh, however, uh, uh, if I can just kind of give you a timeline, it'll kind of refresh. This is horrible. Natalia says she is now 16. She's now 16. And all that stuff that her other adoptive parents was talking is just hogwash. So, with that being said, y'all have mercy. This has got to be one of the most craziest, craziest stories that I've ever heard. Uh, I mean, and it's, it's just like the movie The Orphan. I was going to try to give you guys a timeline. 
on how this stuff has been going down. It's just insane. I can't even give you a time. Okay. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to go by this timeline, right? Okay, let me do that again because it messed up. Okay, we got to go by the timeline because that's very, very important. Um, the girl is going to come on Dr. Phil, so you'll be able to look at her yourself i'm looking at her and these are some very good pictures of her um michael and christine barnett was just too through with her and they could not deal with it because in their estimation they would they were dealing with a grown woman who on more than one occasion threatened to kill them as well as their children yes well y'all know the story so i don't have to go into it again because we done went over this story several times so what i will do is i will be like y'all please watch dr phil and let's see what really going on in the meantime in between time if i can give you some sort of like a timeline then that would be good, okay? So here's the timeline. The timeline is in 2003, 2003. Ooh. Golly. This lady said that she looked down there and her private parts was all hairy and all this stuff. She was like, I had never seen no little eight-year-old girl with this much hair on her damn vagina. And with that being said, you already know it starts getting really weird when you start looking at kids and they looking like an adult so-called kids um that look like that because then it becomes it does become scary um but she was uh um uh, let me let me see if i can come up with this timeline and with the timeline you know, it should make things just a little bit more. Because I'm not going to go into the story again. Y'all already know the story. We've gone over it a few times. Oh, my goodness. But, um, I don't know why I can't bring up the timeline. It's just giving me, a, this is real difficult for some reason. It don't want to show me the timeline. Is this what uh, it's it's really a, a unnerving story. I mean, it, I don't wish this on anybody. They they call themselves doing good by adopting children, and then you find out that you just just thinking that you could possibly have an adult in your house. So in September 2003, Anna Gava says she gave birth to Natalia in the Ukraine. In October, that's September. In October, she gave her up for adoption. I don't know the circumstances. She'll probably discuss that on Phil's show, Dr. Phil. 2008, she arrived in the United States and was adopted by a New Hampshire couple named Dylan and Gary Ciccone. So now, what happened to them? What happened to Dylan and Gary? They should uh, subpoena them. And if you really want to get to the bottom of this story, why did y'all give her up? Natalia is in the care of an adoption agency. This was in 2010 in florida who offered christine and michael barnett the opportunity to adopt her the opportunity the barnett's take her to manning children hospital to have her bone density tested and this is in 2010. the results estimated that she's around eight years old then in 2012 the barnett's take her again to have her bone density tested and this test suggests she's 11. but in 2012 a few months later a court decision declares that Natalia was an adult born in 1989. Oh, God. The Barnetts leave for Canada in 2013 and rent Natalia an apartment in Lafayette, Indiana. Cut it off all communication with her. And then from 2013 to 2016, a couple, Anton and Cynthia Bishop Manns, come into Natalia's life. 
the bishop mans filed to become Natalia's legal guardians, describing her as an alleged incapacitated person who was 13 or 14 years old. In September of 2019, um, the Barnetts are charged with child neglect. Lord have mercy. And in September, again, uh, Daily Mail discovers Natalia is living with the Bishop Mans. Okay. And so now, I, in my opinion, I would really like to talk to Gary, Ciccone, and Dylan to see why they... Uh, kept her for such a short period of time but with that being said she's going to come on dr phil and i guess we all can watch i don't know y'all let me know y'all gonna watch this and at least we'll uh hear what's actually going on with this little girl and all the players involved all right okay with that being said if you like what you hear please like subscribe and share